Thank you. Uh, it's uh, so great to be here. You know, I, I got to give a lot of speeches and these days. The speeches are often pretty depressing, talking about the magnitude of the federal deficit, problems overseas, uh, energy crisis, uh, so on and so forth. And often by the time I finish at wherever I'm giving the speech, people are pretty stunned and depressed. So uh, it's great to be here today to talk about only one thing, and that is beer. And uh, in fact, uh, in my opinion, uh, if we could get more members of Congress uh, to sit around and uh, have a good uh, microbrew after, uh, after work, uh, of course, when we were done voting, uh, and, you know, we might, uh, we might be able to uh, rectify more of our, our partisan differences. And that's part of the mission of the, uh, of the uh, Craft Brewers uh, Caucus in, in Congress. Uh, we have a couple of receptions a year with great help from the association. And uh, I, those are great uh, bipartisan uh, events. I, I've got to go to a lot of receptions on the Hill, and I'm, and I'm often, I'm always beating them up and uh, saying, you know, uh, life's too short for bad beer. And uh, in fact, there's this one major group comes from the Northwest every year, the Pacific Northwest Waterways Association, and they have great seafood. And I said, yeah, great seafood, and you're serving this stuff to drink. And they're like, oh, I'll do better, we'll do better. And so now for about four or five years, they've had Rogue. Uh, but the first year, they were really excited because I got there and they said, oh, Congressman, you're really going to like it this year. We got some beer from, from Oregon. It's really good beer. And I said, that's great. It's about, they've been going on for about an hour. And I get in and, and uh, I often have to stop and talk. So they said, oh, we'll go get your beer. And then they come back and they're really chagrined. And they said, uh, they're out of beer. I said, how can it be? It's only been going on an hour. Well, the waiters in Washington, D.C. had never seen 22-ounce bottles of beer before. So every young staffer or intern who came up was very happy. And they're all wandering around the room with their 22s. <laughs> And there's nothing left for me. So, uh, you know, now they, uh, now they hide them and some in the back of the room just in case, but they educate the, uh, the uh, wait staff too. Uh, I'm a co-chair of a bipartisan caucus, and if you're following Congress, there aren't a, a lot of bipartisan things going on. Denny Reberg uh, from Montana is uh, my co-chair. Uh, we have a number of uh, uh, differences politically, but uh, we are totally uh, in accord. We're both home brewers. Uh, we're both great friends of the industry. Uh, we both have vital and growing sectors of the industry uh, in, our, in our own states. Uh, and uh, in the last con Congress, we got over, we got up to 83 members. Our goal was 100 out of 435. We got to 83. We lost 23 in the election. So we're starting from 60. So one thing I'm going to charge everybody with who's here today uh, is when you get back home, uh, contact your local member of Congress uh, and uh, get in to see them with an appointment if you can. If not, uh, meet with a member of their staff and try and recruit them to join the caucus. We want to be the largest caucus in Congress. We want to be the caucus that brings solutions to Washington, D.C. Uh, in liquid form and uh, makes us a better country for all of us. We've got a, an important bill be introduced next week. Uh, the uh, excise tax bill. Again, bipartisan. Beer, beer seems to be doing that for us in D.C. Uh, it'll be introduced uh, by Jim Gerlach, Pennsylvania, Richie Neal, Massachusetts, and it'll be to have a graduated barrel tax. Uh, and we think that actually despite the large deficits and all the concerns in Washington, this is a good year for this bill. Because there is a lot of talk about, you know, getting clear in the regulatory morass that everybody has to deal with, and that's an ongoing battle uh, with some of the federal agencies that regulate uh, your industry. Uh, but uh, we can talk here about how this modest reduction in taxation and this graduation of the tax uh, will bring investment and uh, put people uh, back to work. We had the folks from Arbor Brewing come and do a presentation at, at one of our events. They had quite a, a good crowd of of staff, and they made a great case about, you know, look, we're pretty small, we're growing, but if we just had this little bit of help, we would invest this much more and grow that much more. Uh, so uh, next week, the bill will be introduced, and that would be the second thing you'd want to talk to uh, your member of Congress or their staff about uh, is, now you're in the beer caucus, great, now here's this bill that is the number one objective of the, uh, of the beer caucus. Uh, you know, the, the other thing that I just want to say is we're solving other problems. You're solving other problems. Uh, the nation has a huge trade deficit, and guess what? Um, the more penetration we have of home uh, U.S. brewed beer, uh, the smaller our trade deficit gets, dealing with uh, some large companies that are foreign-owned, dealing with imports, and now some of you folks are starting to export, uh, and that's great. And then uh, finally, since uh, I'm not at the keynote and I don't want to take up too much time here, uh, 
there is a, some of you follow might have noticed that the president and I don't always agree, although we're in the same party. And uh, you know, but I heard uh, when the White House was uh, home brewing, I thought this is a great step forward. In fact, uh, he uh, served a uh, a uh, honey ale uh, at the uh, for the uh, uh, for the Super Bowl, which was a bipartisan event. Uh, again, a great bringing together of folks, and. Uh, I wanted to get the, I've got up on my website a few recipes that, that I use, and I wanted to put that up on, on my website and on the, on the caucus website. So we contacted the White House, and, uh, you know, we often have some, my liaison and I have some difficult conversations, as the president and I, and he was actually pretty thrilled that all I was calling about was trying to get a recipe for beer. <laughs> and... Uh, so, uh, and then uh, Ken Grossman uh, uh, heard about this too, and Ken said, well, if they're going to home brew, they ought to have some good organic hops. And uh, uh, Ken very generously sent two, unfortunately, previously planted uh, uh, rhizomes in very nice pots with a uh, beginning of a, uh, a little trellis behind them, and I thought, that, God, this is going to be great. Another great conversation with the White House. I just want to bring down this great gift. And, uh, but then we ran into the Secret Service bureaucracy. And uh, somehow they think somewhere in that soil, Ken has planted something uh, that might be the demise of democracy. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it might be, at least as we know it, we might, when they grow it and they serve the hops as beer, it could make everything better. But uh, we're going to try again uh, with rhizomes, and I'm, I'm, I think I've got the Department of Agriculture. They actually have a little sort of garden out front of the department every year uh, on the mall there, and I think they're going to take them. That'll be the first time, uh, according uh, to their liaison, that they've ever grown hops, uh, which will be fabulous for the Department of Agriculture. And, uh, you know, we're, we're making a little progress in Washington, D.C. I'm going to close the same way I did last year because I, I, I just feel so great about uh, this group, this audience, and what you're doing. And compared to people uh, I have to talk to all the time, you know, I've got to deal with the financial industry and others, and, you know, these too big to fail people, there isn't a single one of you who thinks you're too big to fail. No one here wants a handout. All you want is the government, the bureaucracy, to get out of your way so you can grow, you can employ more folks, and uh, serve a great Made in America product that will give us ultimately, I believe, a better nation. Thanks very much. Enjoy the conference. <laughs>